Advent greetings and welcome to the Moravian Historical Society's 2020 Holiday Concert in the Zoll. Over the last few years, it has become a tradition to present this holiday program. It is always a beautiful event and so moving to hear our 1776 Tannenberg organ brought to life in the Zoll of our historic 1740-1743 Whitfield House Museum. This year, we bring this event to your home where we hope everyone is safe and healthy. We also hope that the warmth and joyful message of this music is not diminished by the technology that allows us to connect with you today. I would like to thank Gwyneth Michael, the Assistant Director of the Moravian Music Foundation for putting together this year's program, and to vocalist Ellen Saylor, the Director of Music for the Nazareth Moravian Congregation. We are so fortunate that they are sharing their talents with us. I would especially like to thank our members and donors. Without your support, this program and others like it would not be able to take place. Please consider joining or making a donation today. Your support now than, more than ever is deeply appreciated. On behalf of the Moravian Historical Society's board, volunteers, and staff, we send our warmest wishes for peace and good health. Merry Christmas. Thank mm -hmm. you. Moravian Historical Society in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. 
This marvelous instrument was built in 1776 by Moravian organ builder David Tannenberg for the Single Brethren's House in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. In the 1920s, it was moved from Bethlehem to the Historical Society here at Nazareth. The organ is entirely original except for the grain painting of the case, which happened sometime in the 1830s. In 1997, it was restored by R.J. Gruner and Company. This amazing instrument, now almost 250 years old, will serve us masterfully for this journey. We begin with Isaiah's prophecy of the coming of Christ child. Our first musical response will be Ernst Emanuel Erbe's setting of Freudig sehr, o meine Seele, or Comfort, Comfort Now, My People. Erbe was born in Bern, Switzerland, where his father was a Moravian minister. He was educated in Herrenhut and became a church organist at the age of 14. He was such an accomplished musician that at age 17, an entry he made into a musical contest was returned because the judges thought it must have been written by his teacher. Erwin came to America when he was 35 and settled in St. Louis, Missouri, where he served congregations of the Evangelical and Reformed Church. Erwin's setting is followed by the beautiful antique solo, Loveliest Emmanuel. Born and raised in Pennsylvania, John Antis was an instrument and cabinet maker and is credited with building what we think is the first violin made in America, housed right here in the next room. Following the call of Christ, Antis became a missionary to the church in Egypt, where he was severely tortured and almost died. It was during his stay in Egypt that he wrote a set of string trios reported to be the earliest known chamber music written by an American. Let's pause now as we begin our journey. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. Comfort, O oh comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Thank you. 
Christ's birth, our first musical selection is the delightful carol, All Silent Was the Night, by Theodore Clemens. The son of a Moravian minister, Clemens was himself ordained and sent to serve the church on Tobago, Antigua, and Trinidad. He had a gift for music, and because his church couldn't afford to buy imported scores from England, he wrote a number of hymns, anthems, and organ works for his congregation, including many lovely carols. Following the Clemens work is a setting of Hark a Voice from Yon, Yonder Ranger, or Fröhlich so mein Herz springen, by Jakob von Vleck. Von Vleck was born in New York and educated right here in Nazareth, after which he went to Germany for seminary. He returned to America in 1778 to serve as assistant pastor in Bethlehem, and from 1790 to 1800 was inspector at the girls' school there. He then served the Nazareth, the Dutz, and Salem congregations and was elected a bishop in 1815. Von Vleck was reportedly, quote, a fine performer on violin and keyboard instruments, end quote, and his keyboard style was complimented by a French aide to General George Washington. This setting of Frédéric Saul was written in the free style used by many Moravian composers during the 19th century with flowery interludes between phrases of the chorale. Staying in Nazareth, the next work is by Moravian musician extraordinaire David Moritz Michael. Born in Kuhnhaus in Germany, Michael didn't become a Moravian until he was 30 years old. He taught at the Moravian school in Niski, which is near Hernhut, and came to America in 1795. His official church position was as a worker with the young men of Nazareth and Bethlehem congregations but his contributions to the musical life of the sentiments were extraordinary. He revitalized the Bethlehem Collegium Musicum and conducted the 1811 performance of Haydn's Creation, which was probably its American premiere. Michael is also a well-known composer of wind ensembles, writing, among other works, two water music suites written for excursions on the Lehigh River. We'll now hear Michael's delightful anthem of Welcome to the Christ Child, infant In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
story continues, we respond musically to Christ's birth with the well-known chorus, Glory to God in the Highest, by Christian Greger, someone who is sometimes referred to as the father of Moravian music. Greger was born in Silesia and joined the Moravian Church when he was 17. He served as organist, minister, and administrator, in which capacity he visited America in the early 1770s. Gregor was instrumental in Moravian liturgical development and is the one who introduced the use of concerted or accompanied anthems and arias into our worship services. A prolific composer himself, he also served as editor for the Hymnal of 1778 and Choralbuch of 1784 and implemented a tune registry which is still in use today. Following the Gregor anthem will be a setting of Gelobet Zeist du Jesu Christ, or All Praise to Thee, O Jesus Christ, by Johann Sebastian Bach. Many of Bach's works can be found within the early holdings of the Raven Music Foundation. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace amongst those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. <laughs>
star, the wise men were the last to arrive at the manger. During this section, we'll hear a setting of Vishen Leuchtet der Morgenstern, or How Brightly Shines the Morning Star, by Johann Christoph Bach, first cousin of Johann Sebastian. This delightful short prelude is a perfect lead-in for the masterful solo to follow, Morgenstern auf finster Nacht, or Morning Star in Darkest Night, by Moravian composer Georg Friedrich von Hellström. Hellström was born in the Moravian community of Zeist, Holland, and educated at the Moravian school in Niski, where he played viola in the orchestra, sang in the choir, and was trained as an organist. In 1852, Hellström was called to the Moravian community of Christiansfeld, Denmark, now a World Heritage Site, where he served the church for over 40 years. This beautiful anthem has been a Christmas Eve staple of services at Nazareth and Chenick for decades. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, and Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, and the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. And there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered to him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh.
the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Society and the Meridian Music Foundation and wish you and yours a blessed Christmas.